What's happening, folks? Back with our Super Mario World playthrough, part two. And indeed, I tried to start recording a part two play a little bit ago, and then I realized a few minutes into it, after I had beaten a couple of the special parts of this donut area, that it hadn't actually recorded, or maybe I double hit it and it immediately stopped recording. Either way, I had to go back and start a new playthrough and get exactly to where we were before, which is what I've done. And as you notice, this time I didn't die and I got a bunch of extra lives, so I'm sort of in a good groove. So, in any case, we're exactly where we were before, but this is actually a separate playthrough. Uh, and like I said, I did a lot better than I did in the first playthrough here. So, in any case, let's get back to it. This is Mario World, and we're in the second area, which is Donut. Go full screen. And yeah, so I remembered, uh, I gotta get the green Switch Palace here. I was thinking it was here, and that goes down to the water, but it's wrong. It's This gets the Switch Palace, which makes getting the extra part of this one easier. Although you can do it with, um, in fact, I almost, I could have done it accidentally. I had a feather, and I got up to where the key is when I was just playing this now. Um, but yeah, then that gets the one out in the water, which then takes you two different places. You can beat it and it goes back up to the original ghost house, or you beat it in a special way and it takes you to the special ghost house. So that's what we're going to do. First starting with the green palace, or the green switch palace, which happens when you have to fly up and get a key. Well that was not great. <laughs> I literally didn't do anything like that in my playthrough just now, getting back to where we were before, but apparently I feel the pressure. I don't know who's planning these coin blocks around the various worlds. There we go. Double kill. New thank you, sir. Yep, this is the part. Nah. I apologize. My aim is off. There we go. This is the most ridiculous palace ever. Oh, that's gonna come back at me, isn't it? I guess not. <laughs> like how he politely turns it backward. Right. This is the one that I did get earlier. Whoop, that's my fault. This is what I was talking about doing last time. You can actually get higher if you do this part just right. You can actually increase your elevation. Oh, uh, yeah, see, last time I got up there without using this, oof, that was close. Alright, so then this thing, this you gotta beat two different ways. I hate underwater levels, did I mention that? But with a feather, they are better, especially because the homing bluefish can be taken out. No word on his redfish counterpart. We can 
ask Theodore Geisel, I suppose. Mind if I drop in and assassinate you real quick? Thank you. So the green fish cycle through, the yellow fish go back and forth, and the blue fish are homing. I also like how the green fish have like a scuba mask on. Although I should say fishes, which sounds crazy, right? But apparently in the biological sciences, fishes for plural is now commonplace to avoid any possibility of confusion. I still think it sounds ridiculous. It's like saying mooses. First. I just gotta haul, I gotta go fast now. Oh, this guy. Oof. Let me go back and beat it the regular way first, just to get everything accomplished. In fact, now that I've beaten this, if I get into a really tough spot, I can actually... Like, anytime you've beaten a level, you can back out of it. If I'm really about to die, I could actually just leave the level if I'm quick enough with the start button. Sounds like cheating, I suppose, but hey, man, they made it so that if you beat a level, you can do that. I feel like I'm using the powers granted to me. That, however, was foolish. I don't know why I wasn't swinging. Is this also a feather? No. But, I guess this will be just as good for now. I don't know about this guy, actually. This guy might not be quite as good. Yeah, there's some trouble with this guy. Come on, man, go down. There you go. Now she's over it. Can I go over the top there? Oh, there's a Yoshi coin up there. What do you know about that? I thought I was collecting them well on this run, but. Ooh, that's not bad. That ain't bad. I think 50 is the most. Just to be cheeky, I'm gonna beat this real quick so we can get another save. Warp, 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 warp. I would rather have this. Y'all are freaking me out, you know that? to whoever's playing the synth tuba. Oh, I don't know what I was doing there. Got caught in two lines. Cross or shoot. In the end, it was neither, and it went out for a goal kick. Not bad. I guess we'll do the special one. I'm trying to remember what this ghost house is.
Oh, I know what it is. It's the... There's like two doors you can go through, but you want the blue one. Yep. And then Mario fell over dizzy and vomitous. That's life number 20. Oh wait, it just means the bonus game, that's right. But usually I get at least one. Oh, it's, oh I fucked it up. I'm not gonna get any. Yeah, I'm not gonna get any. Unless I get this one right here. Yes. Well, I did get at least one, didn't I? Oh, Luca's gonna come attack the mic. Oh. Knocking the microphone out of the way. Oh, damn. I forgot. Overlooks level 7. Bowser's got some rocking tunes going on in his land. And apparently he's having fun like a madman behind his castle. Ghost is having fun. Basically, it's a big party in Bowser's. Right. Ice. Ice levels are the worst. Anytime you want to come down, Mario. Luca is in real uh, rapscallion mode at the moment, I have to say. No! No! Oh, this is a one-up. This is just all going swimmingly. Right. <laughs> so, literally, there was no point to any of that. Alright, that's cool. But hey, I'm being thorough. Oh, anytime they make this music, it means there's, like, shit you can fall on. Which means, if possible, this is what you want to do. Yeah, we did that. And I don't even feel bad. Oh, 
Oh, really? There's another level before the castle? Really? You know what I'm all about. Oh. You may be jealous, whatever's up there. Yes. Nope, nope, we're getting that halfway mark. Oh, what is that? That's like a three up or a five up or something, that moon. But you know what? This game can stick it. You give me a feather, I'm trouble. I'm like Ice Cube on the basketball court. Swamp and the Thwimp, I think, is what we're dealing with. That's the Thwomp, who somehow didn't hit me right there. Not what I meant to do, but fun nonetheless. Not great. I do like the castle music in this one. Careful there. Thank you, Green Palace. I don't need your stinking switch. What do we got here? I forget what this guy does. Doesn't he like jump on the walls and then try to land on you or something like that? No bad. <laughs> I love that he's running around these different lands in a cape. How come I can't do that in the game? Forward jumping horizontal kick? Vanilla Dome. I played bass for Vanilla Dome in the 70s. What, do you have any answers for me or just questions, game? Knock, knock. Oh. Listen to that kick beat. We're getting funky up in Vanilla Dome. 
Well, cheers, folks. Uh, that one wasn't too bad. I actually got through that uh, pretty easily. So, yeah. Looking forward to more. I'll keep these around this level, about 20 minutes. You know, not testing people's patience with these longer playthroughs. Um, like I said, I've had a Star Control and a Secret of Monkey Island playthrough recorded for a while now. I just haven't gone through and, like, sound checked them. Because, you know, sometimes you can hear, like, you know, random noise, like my fan or whatever. So I just try to make sure that it sounds good. Uh, but those will get up soon. I'll keep going through these. Uh, and I do have a couple more one-shots coming. So, yeah, lots more gaming coming. Do let me know what you think of this one. And I will see you next time. Peace.